Look at the world's most successful people. Do you think they become wealthy by spending all their money on fashion? No, they invested in learning. They bought books before they bought luxury. They spent on experiences before they spent on expensive labels. Knowledge is the one investment that always appreciates in values. It compounds over time, opening doors, creating opportunities and setting you apart from the crowd. Success is not about looking rich. It's about being rich in wisdom, experience and intelligence. Here is a point for you today. So here, the topic today is tests of hypothesis, large samples from statistics. So this is a very, very most important topic. See here, for the working rule, there will be two means, x1 bar and x2 bar. And there will be two sample sizes, n1 and n2. There are two standard deviations, sigma1 and sigma2. So here, the first step is null hypothesis, mu1 equal to mu2, alternate hypothesis, mu1 not equal to mu2, and level of significance. There will be 1%, 5%, 10% level of significance. We have to... Uh, get it from the problem. So if it is not mentioned in the problem, please take 5% level of significance. And the next one is the test statistics. So here is the formula here. Z is equal to X1 bar minus X2 bar by root over sigma 1 square by N1 plus sigma 2 square by N2. So in case, if sigma 1 square is equal to sigma 2 square is equal to sigma. So if they are equal, then take see here then replace sigma 1 by sigma and sigma 2 by sigma take sigma common so then the test statistics z will be x1 bar minus x2 bar by sigma times of root over 1 by n1 square plus 1 by n2 square so this is the formula and the next one here is level of significance so we have to compare z alpha by 2 with the calculated value so we'll be calculating using this formula and for 5% level of significance z alpha by 2 is equal to 1.96 for 1% level of significance z alpha by 2 is equal to 2.58 and for 10% level of significance z alpha by 2 is equal to 1.645 so these are all the values please remember or please note it down so we have to compare the calculated value with the level of significance and then we can reject or accept whether z is less than z alpha by 2, we have to accept. And if z greater than z alpha by 2, we have to reject the hypothesis. So this is the working rule. And next, I am going to solve few problems. The first question here is, the means of the two large sample sizes. Size here is, first one is 1000 and second one is uh, 2000 members. Members are 67.5 and 68 inches respectively. Next one, what is it? It is asked, can the sample be regarded as drawn from the same population with standard deviation? See here, standard deviation is given as 2.5 inches. So if you uh, remember here, sample sizes means N1 is given as 1000 and N2 is given as 2000. And here means, so here the mean mu1 or x1 bar is equal to 67.5 and the next mean here is a 68 inches so this is the data given and the standard deviation sigma 1 sigma 2 not given only sigma is given as 2.5 inches so this is all the data the first thing here is we have to go with a null hypothesis null hypothesis h0 the samples have been drawn from the same population with the standard deviation can the samples be regarded as drawn from the same population so we have to accept this one the samples have been drawn from the same population of standard deviation 2.5 inches that is mu1 is equal to mu2 and sigma is equal to 2.5 inches and next one is alternate hypothesis alternate hypothesis is mu1 not equal to mu2 and the next one is test statistics so in this z is equal to the formula is very important x1 bar minus x2 bar by root over sigma square by n1 plus sigma square by n2 so what is x1? So x1 it is already that is a 67.5 minus this is 68 by root over. So sigma is same that is 2.5 inches. So sigma is same. So take uh, 2.5 square by 1 by n1. 1 by 1000 and 1 by 2000. So if you send 2.5 square to outside this will be 2.5. Use your calci and you got the value as minus 5.5. 16. So this is a calculated value. Take modulus. This is 5.16. So 
so in the question it is not mentioned any level of significance it is not mentioned that clearly take 5% level of significance at 5% level of significance as I have shown you it is 1.96 so z alpha by 2 value is equal to this is 1.96 just I have shown you so you have to compare both the values so here 5 is 5.16 is greater than 1.96 then if the calculated value is greater than the table value just reject z h naught is rejected at 5% level of significance and we conclude that so what we have concluded that the samples are not drawn from the same population of standard deviation 2.5 inches so this is the question and this is the solution so we have to note all the numbers here all the numerals should be underlined first of all and you have to frame n1 n2 x1 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 bar x2 bar and standard deviation null hypothesis alternate hypothesis test statistics level of significance and this is the conclusion part they then there should be five see here headings here and the next one is the second question here the mean yield of a wheat so here if you see the mean is given yield in a district a as 210 pounds so this is the mean value and the standard deviation is 10 pounds per acre from the sample of 100 plots so here what is given from the district a so this is from district a and this is from district b from district a so what is given so x1 bar is given as 210 and next one standard deviation sigma 1 is given as 10 pounds and sample size n1 is given as 100 please note down and the next one here is in an another district mean yield was see here this is 200 pounds standard deviation is 12 pounds with the sample of 150 plots and the next one here from the district b what are given here the mean is given as that is x2 bar is given as 200 and standard deviation sigma 2 is given as 12 pounds and the sample size n2 is given as 150. It is very clear from the question. Assuming that the standard deviation in the yield in the entire state is 11 pounds. So here it is given as 11 pounds. We have to test there is a significant difference between the mean yields of the crops in the two districts. So we have to test whether there is a significance difference so this is all given the standard deviation is is given as the standard deviation is given as 11 so we have to take this one as 11 so we have to take the standard deviation as 11 now the null hypothesis h naught mu1 equal to mu2 there is no difference between mu1 and mu2 and alternate hypothesis mu1 not equal to mu2 and this is the test statistic that is z is equal to so this is the formula that is x1 bar minus x2 bar by root over sigma square by n1 plus sigma square by n2 so what is x1 so x1 bar is equal to 210 minus x2 200 by so 11 we have to take 11 11 square by 1 by n1 that is 1 by 100 plus 1 by 150 150 so the value here is a 7.04178 so if you take modulus so clearly here well, level of significance is not mentioned therefore you take 5% level of significance it is not mentioned the value here will be z alpha by 2 value will be 1.96 please remember that one so on comparing this one 7.041 is strictly greater than 1.96 therefore if a calculated value is greater than the table value just reject we reject the null hypothesis h naught so after rejecting so there is no significance difference we have taken so we have to conclude that there is a significance difference between the mean yields of the crops in the two districts clear so this is how we have to solve so these are all the problems from the textbook we repeatedly asked the questions and most important topic and uh, I am not giving the solution by my own. It is clearly from the textbook. And here is another question here. In a survey of buying, buying habits, in a survey of buying habits, 400 women shoppers are chosen at random in a supermarket A located in a certain section of the city. Their average weekly food expenditure is 250. So what is average here? Rupees 250 and the standard deviation here is rupees 40. And next one for 400 women shoppers chosen at random from the supermarket B1. So there is a supermarket A and there is a supermarket B. So from the supermarket A, see here how many women are there? 
400. So N1 is equal to, this is 400 is given. And the next one here is average value. So average means X1 bar is given as 250. And standard deviation value, that is S1 here, S1, S1 uh, or sigma 1, both are equal. And for 400 women shoppers chosen at a random in supermarket B and at the session in the city, the average, the weekly expenditure. So the weekly expenditure here is average is given. That is 220 and standard deviation is given as 55. So here again for supermarket B, N1 is equal to this is 400. 400 women for 400 women shoppers. The standard deviation Average value is given by x2 bar is given as 220 and s2 is given as a 55. So this one is 55. So at what percent level of significance here? Clearly 1% level of significance. So we have to check whether the weekly, the average weekly food expenditure of the two populations of the shoppers are equal. So we have to segregate what is given. What is the level of significance and what is to be found? So clearly if you get an idea, so if both means are given, both standard deviations are given and both the sample sizes are given. So we have to opt with this formula that is large samples. Clearly all the data is given. So first go with the null hypothesis. Assume that the average weekly food expenditure of the two population of the shoppers are equal. Every time mu1 equal to mu2 and alternate hypothesis mu1 not equal to mu2 and test statistics z is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar by root over s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2. So here all the values are ready here. So what is x1? x1 is 250 and x2 is equal to 220 by root over s1 square that is 40 square by 400 plus 55 square by 400. The value here if you use you can see this is 8.82. So clearly at 1% level of significance I have already shown you Clearly at 1% level of significance, the value here Z alpha by T is equal to 2.58. Please remember that one if it's not given. So clearly at 1% level of significance, Z alpha by 2 is equal to 2.58. This is 2.58 and clearly calculated value is greater than the table value. Then immediately you have to reject. So we reject the null hypothesis H0 at 1% level of significance. So after rejection, so what is the conclusion part here? So what we have taken H0, assume that the weekly average uh, food expenditure of the two population shoppers are equal. Now the conclusion here is the average, the average weekly food expenditure of the two populations um, of the shoppers are not equal. So this is how we have to solve the five steps here, null hypothesis, alternate hypothesis, test statistics, level of significance and the conclusion part. And the next one, the fourth question here is the sample of students. See here, the samples of the students were drawn from the two universities. Here, how many universities? Two universities. Whenever you find a numeral, please underline. And from their weights, so the weights is in, kilo, in kilograms, means and the standard deviations are calculated as shown below. And make a large sample test. See here, now we have to make a large sample test to test the significance of the difference between the means. The difference between the... So here the mean value is given as the mean from the university and university B. Here the mean is nothing but X1 bar. So here x1 bar is 55 and x2 bar is equal to 57. Standard deviation here they have taken s1. So this is s1 is equal to 10 and s2 is equal to 15. And sample size n1 is equal to 400 and n2 is equal to 100. So this is all the data given. So this is also the important question here. Please note down. So when two means two sa uh, standard deviations two sample sizes are given. So we have to go with the null hypothesis uh, so we have to go with the test of uh, significance for double mean differences of means so the null hypothesis x1 bar is equal to x2 bar alternate hypothesis x1 bar not equal to x1 bar level of significance here uh, the topic of the level of significance is not given so we have to generally take five percent level of significance critical region for the five percent level of significance z alpha by two so z alpha by two is equal to this is 1.96 and next one is test statistics. Test statistics means Z is equal to, see here, X1 bar minus X2 bar by root over S1 square 
by n1 plus s2 square by n2. So we have to substitute all these. X, what is x1? 55 minus 57 by what is s1 square? 10 square by n 400 and 15 square by 100. 15 square 225 by 100. The value here is minus 1.26. So if you take modulus and compare with this. So this is 1.2 and this is 1.9. Calculated value is less than the table of value. So you have to accept. So here the calculated value 1.26 is less than 1.96. And therefore we have to accept the null hypothesis H0 at 5% level of significance. After accepting we have to conclude that there is no significance difference between the means. So this is how we have to solve. Simply we have to take the five steps. First one is null hypothesis, alternate hypothesis, level of significance, test statistics and the conclusion. So for each and every problem we have to collect the data depending upon the data. If there are two means go with the two means formula. If there is a single mean go with z is equal to x minus mu by root or sigma by root n. So here the, there are few problems here but depending upon the data given. So there are four formula that is single mean difference means single proportion and difference proportions and give you a clarity at the end of the uh, this topic go to the playlist so many videos are uploaded for your preparation strictly i'm telling from the textbook and i'm explaining each and every point so that you will get a clarity on what to do how to do and how to solve and if you really like raise your thumb pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel and stay connected thank you so much